Support the channel by becoming a channel member or joining the Patreon through patreon.com slash manlightfoot. You want me to be like, oh, sorry this entire time. I assumed the worst because I was convinced a prince could never love someone like me and I let my self-hatred stop me from apologizing to anyone I could never care about. Well, yes, that. Well, fuck you! Damn, nigga! Welcome to Simple Thoughts. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Hell of a Boss, a show that always has some level of contention. It's just a matter of there's always a case of when this show breathes, somebody got to get mad about it. So recently they aired their latest episode, Apology Tour. And in that episode, we get a bit more clarity of Blitzo and Stolas' relationship and, or pretty much why the relationship had to come to an end. And a lot of people tend to have some contention with this, particularly they feel there's a level of hypocrisy going on when it comes to this breakup. And I kind of wanted to give my two cents on this whole matter. So the biggest thing I've been seeing is people are mad at Stolas for being a hypocrite for breaking up with Blitzo and trying to blame Blitzo for most of the reason why the breakup happened. And Ultimately, I feel most people are just kind of reading this incorrectly. I think a lot of people are just not understanding that this is something that makes perfect sense the way it's going at the end of the day. So the big thing to start is that, you know, these two had a relationship that was ultimately a business transaction. You know, it's like, let's so fuck Stolas. Stolas gives the, the company the ability to go to Earth and all that. It's one of those things where it was doomed from the get-go, and I think most knew this relationship couldn't last. But the thing is, the show did try to build up a relationship with, between these two, and it was fine. Personally, uh, I could have done with less of this relationship, but it's ultimately a case of the story for this relationship pans out exactly how you'd expect because of how it started and how these two treat each other. But people are mad at Stolas for deciding, hey, I'm just gonna end our transactional relationship and just break it off. And so you get to go to Earth freely. I, I do not need to be a part of the business anymore. You don't have obligation to see me. And Blitzo doesn't take well to it. That was still the gayest thing I've heard all day! Damn! He gets frustrated and angry and starts shouting and berating Stolas. And the thing about the, it is they've had this sort of tense sexual relationship where, you know, it's sort of like Blitzo is super dominating and demeaning to Stolas. That was sort of their whole back and forth with that relationship. And it was cute for a while, but Stolas is someone who is understands I got to grow especially since he was just in a very toxic relationship that whole thing was kind of a big reason for why this breakup needs to have needed to happen too because he finally got out of a toxic relationship and he's still in one with blitzo and he realized okay this is one where i can get ahead of things i can actually control a bit of the narrative properly particularly in just saving our faces and saving us from humiliating each other or getting way too angry obviously and he just said let me break it off the thing is the onus has always been on blitzo to actually be able to meet stolas on this level here of maturity and sadly blitzo didn't he wanted to be angry and shout all because he has this mindset the rich can't love him they can't love imps they can't love people below them but stolas wasn't exactly that prejudice i want to say granted most likely uh, past episodes can disprove me on this but i don't remember stolas being that prejudiced against imps to that degree but it, it's one of those things where pin people were so mad at stolas that they forget that blitzo was pretty terrible in how he dealt with this because at the end of the day Stolas just stopped the transactional relationship. Blitzo could have just met, <laughs> could have met Stolas's maturity and actually said, oh, okay, so you don't want a transactional relationship like that? You actually want a relationship. But Blitzo is not good with relationships and that's fine. Stolas recognized that and said, let's break it off. 
let's just stop and so it really was on Blitzo to finally sit and ask himself what do you want do you want a relationship or do you just want to fuck if you just want to fuck then that's all you get Stolas was being the bigger person in all of this a lot of people are mad at Stolas and thinks he should have been called out Blitzo should have yelled at him because it's like Stolas created this relationship in the first place created this dynamic and while that is true it's a question to ask what does calling Stolas out on that really do Nothing. Does that really save their relationship? Does that make it so Blitzo and Stolas can now keep their relationship good and and move and keep it healthy for the future? No, it still indicates this should not be a relationship that works. Even if the, even if Stolas gets called out, it doesn't change anything. Stolas was b just being the bigger person in this, and Blitzo didn't want to meet him halfway on it. If Blitzo wanted to be mature about it, he would have properly called out the hypocrisy. He didn't. He got emotional and angry and started just assuming the worst out of Stolas. The thing is, is that this was something meant for Blitzo to learn to grow. He was supposed to finally realize, oh, I am hurting people. Because the biggest thing in the episode is, there's this party literally dedicated to just hating Blitzo. Everybody who Blitzo is fucked over in the past through a party just hating on the man like this is <laughs> this is like 2024 hate con these these motherfuckers hate this man that much throw a party with cake and everything streamers and all that it's so crazy but it's a matter of Blitzo doesn't want to admit oh I'm a faulty person I am fallible because he th still thinks hey we're in hell we're supposed to be the worst of the worst right but it's like mm, maybe not everybody else doesn't act like that it, how you act so obviously something's wrong with your behavior you know that's just something blitzo needed to learn is that you can't be angry all the time and think people are just all about the sex since just because you're in a bad setting your setting doesn't dictate everybody's attitudes it's just sometimes you're just in a bad setting that's it a setting is just a setting and blitzo didn't want to recognize that's ultimately what we we're getting on this is that Blitzo needed to actually meet Stolas in the middle on this properly. Recognize we don't have a good relationship, but he didn't want to. It's just one of those things where people, I think, want accountability and they don't know what accountability can look like because what does accountability really look like with Stolas being called out? They still end up broken up. Blitzo and Stolas still are broken up. Stolas can get called out, but nothing changes. And even then, the thing is, Stolas was being the bigger, the smarter person in all this. He knew this is not a good relationship. I'm literally with you for transactional reason. That's not healthy at all. And so he's saying, let's break it off. If Blitzo wants a relationship, he could have genuinely talked to Stolas. But he's too afraid to actually open up. He's too afraid to show some level of vulnerability. You see it at the party that they're at where he just couldn't just come out and say, oh, okay, yeah, I do want a relationship. You see it in his eyes. It's like, you clearly care for Stolas. You clearly want to be with Stolas, but you are not ready for Stolas. I think that's what that scene is to say. They're not ready to be together. If they are gonna be together, maybe it happens later on. But right now, it's just not meant to be. A big thing I notice is some people do try to keep bringing up past problems with this relationship. That's why they keep calling out the hypocrisy of Stolas. But at the end of the day, it's like it's about what's going on now. In this moment now, Blitzo is just not owning up to up to the fact that he treats people poorly. He insults and berates so many people, even his own employees. He constantly talks shit to. Now, me personally, I do believe the relationship could have taken more of a backseat. And so we could have gotten more of Blitzo and Moxie and Millie and uh, Luna and them actually doing their jobs as well with the boss. You know, it's called Hell of a Boss, but we don't get to see him be much of a boss. That's my biggest problem with it, I'll be honest. But in terms of how they played out the relationship, story-wise, this makes sense. It's like these two could not be together and this makes sense on Stolas' part because he recognized I keep... I'm part of toxic relationships. It's time to detox. I'm sorry. That's growth. That's genuine growth. You could say you can have them call out hypocrisy all you want, but it doesn't fix anything. 
It doesn't make it so Stolas and Blitzo get back together and fix the fix anything. It just says I got called out for starting a bad relationship. Which the thing is, Stolas does acknowledge, hey, I shouldn't have let it get like this. Like he does say that in the midst of their argument at the top of the episode that it's like it shouldn't have gotten to this point. I let you get too close. I let it go too far. Where we were constantly just berating each other every time I tried to spend time because Stolas mentions he tried to spend time with Blitzo many, many times and Blitzo just wasn't willing to meet him there. That's just the harsh reality of it. I will argue maybe he could have explained a little bit more in detail about what he could have like said to Blitzo or what was going wrong on his half of it. But you really got to remember Blitzo was the one who really pushes boundaries a lot. And this is just one of those cases of he pushed boundaries a little too far and it started to bite him in the ass. Thankfully, Blitzo is someone who is a person who can grow. That's what the episode is showing. It's because Blitzo easily could have blew up at that party and revealed himself and called out everybody just to be an asshole. But he didn't because he finally recognized, oh, it's clearly I'm the problem if so many other people are willing to throw a party and say, this is not good. I think ultimately you just need to cut Stolas a little bit of slack. It, he really was trying to be the bigger person here. But that's just something I feel. So I also put the question out to everybody else on my socials and community posts, and I kind of wanted to get a grasp of the consensus when it comes to this matter. I just want to kind of talk about a few points that I've seen regarding this. From Kitty Monk, shout outs to Kitty Monk, I think they should have had Stola start to feel bad about how he treated Blitz and realize he had a point, but Verasica only sees the surface and thinks Blitz is 100% to blame, and Stolas hearing her and seeing a room with all his exes begins to believe her. Yeah, while Verasica only has one side of the story, the rest of the audience, i.e. the people who watched it, me and you, and everybody else, we see who Blitzo really is. We know he sucks at relationships. He actually was kind of a big reason for this going wrong, because even if Stolas is the one who wanted that a uh, relationship, Blitzo could have been like, no, or could have set way stronger boundaries and said, only sex. We are only transactional. Don't fall in love with me. Because you see that entire house filled with everybody who hates Blitzo's guts. That tells you straight up, oh, he's the problem. He is clearly the problem because that many people should not hate you. There should not be hater parties for you, for a singular person. At that point, you're doing something wrong. Let's. I just think that's the big point of it, honestly. It's just, even with Verasica still being on, like, not having all the information here, I still think it's like, regardless of anything, she'd probably still be on Solus' side. It's like, well, it sounds like he clearly wanted, changed up and wanted a relationship, and you never established where, no, we don't have, we're not to have any relationship. Or, in a sense, he has established he doesn't want a relationship, and so Blitz, so, and so Stolas was, again, being the bigger person. I, I ultimately think that's the biggest thing about it. I think that's what works the best about it. This one from Pedanticat. I'm not mad about him ending things with Blitzo. I honestly don't care about this ship at all. <laughs> Stolas hypocrisy is infuriating for me and I'm hoping it gets addressed. Again, I do think a case of even if you address the hypocrisy, does it really change anything? I mean, Stolas gets called out, sure, but... Uh, I don't know if it would fix anything, and potentially it could always happen later. I think ultimately, even if they did call out Stolas, it doesn't change anything with the relationship or, or even the show. I think it just adds a scene to add a scene. And at least that's how I read it. From Dark Child, bro's hypocrisy and the way how he doesn't understand the power dynamic in their relationship. 
Doesn't really help that Blitzo was right on the money about how Stolas would find another imp because Stolas doesn't love Blitzo. He loves not being alone. I will admit, however, Blitzo caused a little bit of his shenanigans by being Blitzo and caused that to happen. I don't think Stolas was very dedicated to finding a new partner. I think he did really want to be with Blitzo. He did try to hang, he did try to be at the office and help out and such, but Blitzo was like, hey, let's not do that. I think it's a matter of like, I don't think Stolas was really trying to abandon Blitzo. I think he genuinely cared and wanted Blitzo to reciprocate the same feelings, but saw that's just not gonna happen. From allocations, everyone else makes good points, but upon rewatching season one, the first time Stolas shows anything deeper than mocking object vacation is the last episode. Also, when Stolas publicly demeaned him in the past, Blitzo clearly told him to stop. Lulu Land makes Stolas a real creep. I think that is a case of, yeah, you can call Stolas out for that, but we gotta recognize, I think this was Stolas being able to understand, break away from this. Step back, y'all are not meant for each other right now. Or, you both need to grow. You both need to actually take time away from each other and grow a little bit. A lot of relationships can ha get to a point where it's like, hey, maybe y'all need to take some time, live some life for a little, and then grow. Especially ones that start off very toxically. Like something like this needs, they need a break from each other. Miles Jude says, a few good points on Stolas' hypocrisy. Like Stolas, accu Stolas accuses Blitz of only being concerned about sex when that was the basis of Blood Moon deal. Also Stolas saying he never belittled bl Blitz, yet we see him call Blitz a little silly imp. While cute can be demeaning. I don't think him being called a silly little imp, I think it's meant to be just cute. I think it's just cutesy, but I don't know. Mm. Guga Santiago 986 pretty much that Stolas say things like it was just Blitz the fault even though the relationship crumbled by his fault too. I think people are angry for Stolas being oblivious of his part of the problem and instead blaming just Blitz so. I don't think the show is trying to just say it's just split so i do believe they are trying to say it is both of them and that's why it needs to end uh, when it comes to a visual medium it's supposed to be show don't tell this is uh, what i'm seeing from a lot of the fans angry or what they would want from this is they want more tell tell us stolas is wrong that he's a hypocrite in this but the actions i think speak a lot better versus just hearing blitzo call out uh, Stolas. I think that's just wanting to see revenge, you know, displayed versus the actually getting a visual medium of someone understanding, hey, so things aren't right. We see Stolas just say, let's stop. It, we, he breaks it off. We see that because we're supposed to look at that and recognize, oh, he's had a point of reflection and recognizes I'm not in a good spot. I, this is not healthy for us. So from Greyworks, 7232 shout outs to them so i'm not really angry with stolas ending things with blitz and i do think there is a large amount of the anti stolas people that blow things out of proportion but something that does legit bother me is that the show frames their relationship as blitzo just doesn't understand stolas truly loves him as the main hurdle and really sweeps under any problematic issue stolas may have in their relationship i don't think the show is trying to sweep things under the rug with this. I think this is the show, or particularly the crew and creator, recognizing this relationship can't last. It's toxic. It's not meant to hold together. That's why it ends with Blitzo not getting Stolas back, because y'all both gotta take a break from each other. Y'all gotta stop seeing each other for a little bit and assess some things. Like, who are you guys and what do y'all really want? You know? Stolas didn't get to really live his life like he wanted to because he was too much of a pampered boy and being forced to, into a relationship with a woman he had no love for. Blitzo had a bunch of other problems going on with him that some of it was not his fault. A lot of it really was his fault as, again, we see that party and it's filled to the brim with so many people who hate his guts and we've seen throughout this series he doesn't treat people very well. It's just the case of the person who is the asshole kind of deserves to be called out the most. In terms of the moment of the breakup, it really is a case of like, Stolas was doing the right thing. He was being right and calling out this bad relationship that it's like, hey, we are talking to each other in ways that's belittling. It was fun in the bedroom, but to do that every single day when y'all just see each other on site, 
Mm -mm. It's a little weird. Not good. A lot of this does come down to we won't know until the show finally reveals it. But that's what makes this show pretty exciting at the end of the day. Hell of a boss. I can't fake. A new episode drops. I do say, let me look at this. I want, I want to see what's going on. But I will say the relationship, well, interesting, I think, could have been done a little better in the vein of its connection to the show. Particularly, I just think we should have taken a bit more of a backseat. Very much a case of, hey, if the show is not a romance to begin with, keep the romance to the side. Side plots, you know? But it started taking form and starting to affect things. So we got to see where it plays out. Apology Tour episode, really good. I think they're doing some good stuff and it's emotionally resonant for a good reason. These They're speaking to a real feeling a lot of people have when it comes to relationships, especially toxic relationships. And they're not shying away from the harsh truth that sometimes these things are not meant to work out. What do y'all really think about all this? Do you think uh, Stolas is truly a hypocrite or do you think this is 50-50 and at the end of the day this relationship should have ended? Let me know in the comments and always remember, it's just a thought. I'm not going